Have you figured out your niche? Are you helping adding value to other people's lives? Then you're in the right place. Welcome to Munira's Musings with your host, co-author of Conversations with Top Real Estate Investors, Volume 3, Munira Zahabi. Greetings from Chicagoland. This is Munira, your host for Manira's Musings, coming to you live. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Manira's Musings. Our guest today is Pamela Menti. Hi, Pamela. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Manira. Thank you for having me. You are welcome. You know, always a pleasure to have dynamic women. Before, you know, um, Pamela is going to talk about GLOW. And she's also going to talk about It Takes Money, Honey. Good titles, but I'm curious to learn what this is. But before we start, I need to tell you a little bit about who I am and what I am, what I do and what Manira's Musings is about. So I am the niche navigator. I live in Chicagoland. And I help coaches and businesspreneurs find and market to their niche. It's the cornerstone of a business because you have to know what you are going to do and how you're going to do that. And that's finding the niche. It's the most important thing that you can do for your business, and that's what I help you with. This show, Manira's Music, came about because I met several people out there who are doing extraordinary things with the niches that they have found and how they were giving back to the community. They didn't think much of it, so this is my way of exposing them and promoting them to see, you know what, what can you teach us when we are still trying to figure out our niche? They saw a lot of people out there who may or may not need you, but they need to hear your words of wisdom. So before, and, and if you like the videos, please go ahead, share, like, subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate that. And go ahead and let everybody else know that you know who wants to be on our interview show. I'm always looking for great people. Thank you. So Pamela, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure, so I am Pamela Menti. I'm originally from Ghana, I'm born and raised in Ghana, West Africa, beautiful country. If you haven't been there before, you got to go to Ghana, okay? Okay. <laughs> and, um, Yes, and um, yeah, I live. I currently live in Orlando, Florida, with my husband and my children, and um, just um, passionate about empowering women. Um, I currently have two. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an author. Um, I'll be a third-time author um, by the middle of this year. Two books, Irresistible Wife and Simply Resistible Single Woman. Um, I also have two networks. One is Glow Women's Network, and the other is It Takes Money, Honey Network, which I'm going to share with you um, what those two networks do. But um, that's me. I just you know love people. I love God. And um, just love to share um, my experience, my uh, my knowledge, and just to empower other women in the same space that I am. That's awesome. Thank you so much. An accomplished author, three books. Wow. <laughs> I've been writing my first one. So tell us what these books are about. This okay. So simply, my, my very first book is Fulfilled, um, Five Keys to Achieving Your Dreams. And I talk about, you know, when you have a dream, people say, I have a dream, I have a dream, but they never really take the step to achieving those dreams. And I wrote those book, uh, that particular book, Fulfilled. Um, it was a message that I had, uh, I had um, you know, presented. And it was talking about, especially around this time, it's, you know, the, the year is new when people are planning and um, they have resolutions and all that. So I just talk about, even before you get into the resolution, right? Even before the year, you know, the first of the year comes or whatever, some to call it seasons, you need to evaluate the year before, right? You need to go over your goals, your dreams, your vision. What were you able to accomplish? What weren't you able to accomplish? Why weren't you able to accomplish those things? And when you look at even the things that you accomplished, 
you will see that there must have been um, some keys, maybe some habits, some things that you did to accomplish those. Now for the things that you didn't, just being able to evaluate, to assess those things so that the next year you will be able to effectively um, deliver, you know, or to accomplish your vision and your goals. So that's what I talk about planning, implementing, um, you know, that to help you really deliver your dreams and your goals. That's awesome. So, um, <laughs> thank you. Now, the two books that are coming out are Simply Irresistible Wife and simply irresistible woman and I share a lot about myself my journey as a woman I'm trying to find myself trying to find my purpose it got to a place where I felt um, you know really depressed and I didn't know who I was I didn't know what I was supposed to do I was just plain lost and um, through the journey that I've been on, um, God showed me certain things. I learned certain principles. I got on a journey to really self-develop and to, you know, just get myself to a level where I knew who I was, to the level where I knew what my purpose is, what my passion is, and to begin to walk in those things. So, um I share about a lot about a woman, you know, women finding our value, whether we are married women or single women. So um, talk to me about the GLOW. What's GLOW? I'm dying to know. Glow Women's Network is a, um, a network that I found years ago when I found myself really lost. I had three children at that time. And um, all that I found myself doing was, you know, being a wife and being a mother to these children. I'm like, there's more to life than this. There's more to life than taking care of my man, which I love doing. There's more to life than taking care of these children and waiting day in and day out. Um, if they had to go to school, pick them up, whatever. My life was just about other people except for me. So I came to a place where I was really depressed and um, I was lost. I was very unhappy. I was very unfulfilled. So that set me on a journey to find out, okay, what does God have for me? You know, this isn't what my life is about. I didn't come on earth, I, you know, um, to take care of my husband and my kids. I mean, it's good, but I know that I, I have more in me. I have something in me and um, I just wasn't fulfilled. I knew that there was more that I could do. I knew that I wanted to make an impact in other people's lives. So I began a journey of self-awareness from the, you know, being able to be aware of, okay, um, this is where I am. I am in spot A. I need to be in B. How do I get to B? What do I need to do to get to B? How do I find who I am? How do I find my purpose, my passion? Now, what I found out is that when you are passionate about something, you know, it just energizes you. Sometimes you hear people who are so drained, um, they find themselves doing different things, whether it's ministry or a project, whatever it is, but they are not passionate about it and they find themselves so drained. A lot of people go to work, they are getting paid, but they are so, are so unfulfilled. They are so unhappy. It's because they haven't really found that passion which derive, is derived from their purpose. So I um, started this journey. And um, in that journey, I wanted to also bring along women who were in the same space as I was, who were looking to find themselves and their purpose and their passion. You know, so I started the network, I started a Facebook group to give resources as I learned, you know, to, uh, to get experts who had written books and videos and such. And as I was empowering myself, I was empowering other women. It turned out to um, organizing different events um, in the um, Eastern area, you know, Connecticut area, Connecticut, New York, organizing conferences for women and bringing speakers that would empower women so that is how glow started is god's leading ordained woman we are all leaders in you know in our different spaces as women as wives as mothers entrepreneurs and in our careers we are all leaders but to be able to find that there's a process that you need to go through so that is what glow is about we help women birth out their purpose and to 
get them to a place of fulfilling their purpose, you know, in the space of their passion as well. So that is what GLOW is about. We are still um, empowering women uh, throughout the world. It's a global network. We have women in, in um, Ghana, women in Africa, women in different parts of the world who are part of this network. Of, of course, it does take money, honey. You know, Munira, everything that you want to do, I found out that I've been to um, fulfill my purpose, to organize these events and um, to do, you know, what I was so passionate about. It took money. You know, if you want to rent an event, um, you know, banquet hall or whatever it is, they're going to ask you for a deposit. You know, you, you are so passionate and you are so happy. You are so excited about empowering other women and sharing your, you know, your knowledge and also getting other experts to come. But the rooms are not free. You got to pay some money. So that part of the network is more about entrepreneurship empowerment. And when I found out that, you know, I was entering into a place where God was calling me into entrepreneurship, I didn't know anything about business at all. I didn't know anything about entrepreneurship. I mean, I didn't have anybody in my family. My mom was very, you know, enterprising. She was in fashion. She had a, fa a, a garment factory and all that. I learned to sew, you know, at the age of 10 and all that. But I didn't have that um, mentorship. I didn't have that role model. So I was like, okay, how am I supposed to do this? So in my journey again, you know, in getting the, the resources that I needed, the knowledge that I needed, um, I started, it takes money, honey, to bring experts who will, um, bring the, the content and, um, the support that, um, women who want to start their businesses, budding entrepreneurs, new and new entrepreneurs, uh, you know, the, the content that we need to take us to the next level. And that is our niche. You know, we cater and we support and um, just help women at that level who have just started their business or want to. A lot of us are becoming very aware that there's more that we have in us. We want to start our own businesses and, you know, we want to transition from nine to five. So that is what It Takes Money Honey is about. And as I'm learning, I am bringing other women along with me. That is you know, come on, let's all grow together, right? <laughs> <laughs> but that's good, you know. I, I like weeds because... I think they just have a sense of survival. You know, I like that. And so, okay. <laughs> you know, and, and the thing is, you can pull a few, but then, you know, there's something else going to sprout out because it doesn't ever, you ever don't kill. You can never um, discourage a weed. It comes back. So, right. and you know, so it's nothing to do that weeds are bad, but the thing is, we as women have to be resilient to change. We have to accept the change and go with the flow and be like weeds so we come back more vigorous and more stronger. That's it. And, you know, I like the fact that you tied in my niche uh, navigation to yours because, you know what, we are in the similar fields, but we have a different, a slightly different focus. That's what I was talking about. And thank you so much for being on my show. I appreciate it. <clears throat> and I value your opinion and I value you as a friend. Thank you so much. And pe people, go ahead and look her up. If you like this video, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to this episode of Munira's Musings with your host, Munira Zahabi. If you enjoyed our show, please share and subscribe to this channel. And for more content, please join our Facebook group called Navigate to Your Niche.